we're gonna take a look on how I set up my Camvate Universal C cage with my G85. Now, if you have any other kind of camera, this will actually work with uh, most models, just because with the 50 millimeter rod and the way it's designed, it's adjustable so that it can uh, compensate for different sizes of cameras. And in this video, we're just gonna go over how I personally set the Cambay C cage up and two personal recommendations uh, that I would have for you when you're setting yours up. And there's also one drawback that we'll get to as well. Now for starters, we have the top section which goes on the hot shoe mount on top of your camera. We have the bottom section that will go into the quarter 20 thread. And then we have a 15 millimeter rod on the side that has different 3 8 and quarter 20 threads on it. Now the 15 millimeter on the side will be for the wooden handle to screw on. And the cage comes with two different sizes of 15 millimeter rods to compensate, like I said, for different sizes of cameras. Now, first thing you wanna do is attach the top portion to the hot shoe mount and then move it as forward as possible and then lightly snug it down so it doesn't fall off. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the 15 millimeter rod dependent on the size of your camera and then slide it into the top and then lightly snug it up as well with the threads facing out. Now the bottom section is a little bit more tricky because you have to line up the bottom section with both the 15 millimeter rod and the quarter 20 mount on the bottom of your camera. And you're gonna be attaching those simultaneously. Now, once you have the bottom section on, you're gonna wanna make sure everything is snug down and then you're gonna wanna go around and make sure everything on the camera is squared up. The first time I attached everything, uh, it ended up being slightly tilted off to the side and uh, that just kind of bothered me. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but matters to me. Now, last thing we're gonna do is tighten down the handle. Now it's gonna connect to the side of your quarter 20, 15 millimeter rods, and it's gonna have two attachment points. So you're gonna wanna make sure to tighten them down uh, with little increments for each one. If you end up tightening one down all the way, the other one isn't gonna be able to tighten down snug. So just make sure to do small turns for each one until it's snug. So once everything looks nice to you, everything's squared up, go ahead and tighten everything down. And you might wanna be a little careful snugging everything down. You don't wanna over tighten because you could strip out your quarter 20 mount on your camera and we don't wanna do that. Now, like I said, there are two specific things that I would recommend you doing uh, dependent on what camera you're using. But for me, I like to make sure that with my body bottom section that the 15 millimeter rod does not protrude out the bottom so that when you're setting it down onto a counter or anything like that, uh, it's not gonna wobble or anything. Now, it really wouldn't be a problem if you had a tripod plate attached to it at all times, but um, it's just nice to have the, it flush on the bottom. Now, if you're like me shooting on a Panasonic camera, they all have flip out screens, much to Sony's chagrin, and the handle tends to get in the way. Um, it's still fully functional, even if you have it squared up uh, just out to the left. I would recommend loosening the 15 millimeter rods and then angling it slightly forward just so that you don't end up interfering with the flip out screen. Now, I did say there were some things that I would watch out for and the main thing is the handle can get loose over time. That's something I've noticed. It's not a huge issue as long as you keep an eye on it, but it can get a little annoying because the quarter 20 attachments slowly work their way out the more you use it. It really hasn't been a major issue for me, but it's just something you really should watch out for. Just the more you put any rotational force on it, the more it tends to get loose. So I would just make sure before you're using it anywhere, just make sure to tighten these up uh, beforehand. And one more thing that I don't necessarily love about it is that it does limit your access to the focus ring on some lenses. On my uh, Panasonic 25 1.7, uh, the focus ring is pretty close to the body, so you have to reach around the cage to get to it. But uh, it hasn't been an issue for me uh, that much, but it's just a little bit of an inconvenience. Also, if you're wondering if it's gonna work with the G85's battery cage, and I guess this would apply to the G7 as well, the answer is yes. The 15 millimeter rod that comes with the Canvate C cage is long enough to compensate for the battery grips. One thing I would say though, is that the 15 millimeter rod is maybe half an inch too short for that. There's still enough of it that you can tighten it down and it's secure, but I mean, if it was half an inch longer, it would be just a little bit better. There's just a little bit of overhang. All in all for like 60, 70 bucks, I really love this cage. Now the real question is, is this actually gonna make my videos better or do I just wanna look good? Now that's the question. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and we will see you all next week.